Hi Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your May 16th to the 31st finance and career reading. Now, I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up. And I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you are new or old to this channel, for all, you, all your support. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I adore you all so very much. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be pinned to the top of the comment box below, meaning it will be the very first comment in the comment box below. All right, so let's see now, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what your finance and career, what finances and career has in store for you for May 16th to the 31st of 2019. That's 2019. Aries. May 16th to the 31st, 2019, finance and career. Aries, May 16th to the 31st, finance and career. Aries, May 16th to the 31st, 2019, finance and career. Aries, May 16th to the 31st, 2019, finance and career. Aries, May 16th to the 31st, 2019, finance and career. Aries, May 16th to the 31st, finance and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aries, May 16th to the 31st, finance and career. Fantastic. That is where the cards fell, so that is where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything is the Six of Pentacles. So at the center of everything, Aries, for finances and for career, you are going to have a lot of demands on you. A lot of people wanting your time, a lot of people wanting your attention, and you are going to be a bit resentful. Okay, just kind of looking at things and saying, oh my gosh, you know, how am I going to get this all done? You have a Leo energy here, so it can be that a Leo is demanding your time. This is also a time frame of July 21st to August 21st, kind of that way that you're going to move forward, kind of getting through, that's, that's kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel right there, and I know it's far away, but it's just like you charge forward and you keep on having that momentum, and you're going to see that by for a lot of you, not for each and every one of you, but for a lot of you, by August, by August, by July 22nd to August 22nd, you're going to feel a lot more kind of stable and secure in the place that you want to go because right now you're feeling battered and bruised. It's just like kind of enough is enough and you, you've, you've had it, but you get your soul's wish. So at the root of everything in this finance and career reading is that you start to get your soul's wish and things start to turn around. Thank goodness. Because here we have the the high priestess and the high priestess is all about a connection with, with spirit, a connection with what it is that you want. And then you have the universe opening up to you. So you have here kind of at the core of the reading, a lot of major arcana cards moving you forward. You're moving away from a mind space, from a way of looking at things that is no longer serving a purpose for you. And you are moving towards here. Okay. So for you, Aries, change your mind, change your life. You have here the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Now, Knights protect Queens because Knights can be champions of Queens. They can also be champions of Kings, but you always see it within movies and books and everything like that. You have the Knight who defends the, the Queen's honor or who fights for the Queen's, you know, praise. So that's what I'm seeing here. It's kind of like you are defending what it is that you want and the way that you want to move forward. Yes, the swords can represent an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. We have a strong Aquarius energy here at your root. So this could be reiterating that. But this is also saying that your mind is going to be astoundingly po powerful during these during the last half of May. So during the last half of May, what you are focusing on, what you are looking at right here, because you have you yourself crowned with the Five of Cups, that is what you're going to manifest. So here it's looking at disappointments. It's looking at failures. It's looking at not being, excuse me, not being in the place that you want to be. If you focus on that, that will be your whole half of May. And I'm not saying this to get you down or to get you upset, but I am saying here, be very, very careful with your thoughts. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aries, May 16th to the 31st, 2019. That's 2019 finance and career. So I've already shuffled and meditated upon these. Confidence and patience shine through. All right. 
So moving forward with confidence, these are your fairy guidance cards, embracing patience as you are creating what it is that you want. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aries, May 16th to the 31st, 2019. That's 2019. Finance and career, Aries. This card right here. Abundance. Oh, I love it. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aries, May 16th to the 31st. Finance and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, Aries. This one right here. Wisdom. Okay. Just give me a moment. All right. So right here we have abundance, which is a fantastic word when doing a finance and career reading. And it said, it says, harmonize your thinking with exactly what you desire to attract and the universe will deliver. Well, doesn't that just play into what we were saying before, what Spirit was saying before about knowing your mind, knowing what it is that you want and focusing on that because you're going to have a tendency because of kind of the, the demands that are being put on you, Aries, to sit there and look at the negative instead of the positive. And this is saying here, don't fall into that trap because it'll be like a hamster wheel. You'll keep going and going and going there and really not getting to that place that you desire being. Wisdom. It says, inner wisdom nurtures the skills necessary to see through all possibilities. Oh, I do apologize because here, the color that's shining through for me for abundance is actually yellow, all right? And that is the solar plexus chakra. I thought it was going to be blue, which is really funny. So... Here, healing, protecting the solar plexus chakra is really going to help move you forward. And that's funny because the solar plexus chakra, I always think of like kind of protecting your stomach almost. And they say that that's almost the second brain of the body. So what you're fueling it is also helping you kind of move forward towards what it is that you want. So think of that with thoughts too. What you're fueling your body with, with thoughts, with where you want to be within your life, that is going to be moving you forward to that place. So healing and protecting the solar plexus chakra. And then we have the wisdom here, wisdom here, which, as I said, inner wisdom nurtures the skills necessary to see through all possibilities. And the color that's shining through to me here is actually, is it red or is it orange? It's orange. And that is the sacral chakra. So that's where a lot of negativity, this life, past lives are stored. So healing and cleansing the sacral chakra to be able to obtain what it is that you want to move forward in abundance is going to be very beneficial to you. We have confidence right here. And it says, confidence is having the belief in yourself to keep you going and the self-assurance to get you there. Confidence. And then patience. Greet each moment with endurance and patience of mind. Patience. So at the heart of everything right here is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is all about everybody having their hand out to you. Everybody wanting something. There are demands and demands and demands. And Aries, you're going to be quite fed, fed up with this. In May, you sometimes feel as if you're running away a race, but you got... All the way in the back to start you were all the way in the back and now you're trying to catch up and again i'm not saying this to make you feel overwhelmed or to be like okay just kind of hide away for the the last half of may no because what is coming from this feeling is a claiming of power is a knowing of your truth is saying you know what this is what i want this is where i'm going this is where i need to be and this is what i need to do for me so <laughs> excuse me you're having a sense here of deciding who to give your time to, who to give to, who really needs it, because everybody's going to want a piece of you, and there are people who you can say no to, all right? Within, within finances, within careers, I mean, it might be your boss who's making demands of you and everything like that, and if the workload is too much, saying, you know, I need help to delegate this or looking at things and if you, if you don't have that help, it can be just simply telling your boss, you know, all of this is too much and I can't accomplish it. So how do I, you know, how can I relook at things? How can I go about and organize this to be able to move forward or going step by step by step? People have to know that you cannot do everything, Aries, and you have to know that you cannot do everything because 
that is going to be the most important thing because if you set yourself up with all these goals with or all these demands that are put on you and you're looking at it and thinking, okay, I can conquer it all, you're going to be very disappointed in yourself and very discouraged by the end of May. So do not do that to yourself, Aries. Do not set yourself up for failure. Set yourself up for success. And if other people around you aren't treating you with that dignity, then maybe they, they need to be Spoke, spoken to in a very nice, in a very respectful, you know, professional way. But, you know, having them know that you're, you're doing your utmost and that the workload is just growing and growing and growing to a place where it is uncomfortable for you. Okay. Or this is saying, yeah, this is saying balance. Balance is needed. Balance between home and work life. Balance is going to be needed. Okay. but you're going to have to make some people wait. And that's just going to be how it is, Aries. Then we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is blessings. The Five of Cups is a sense of love being right behind you. But right here, it is focusing on hurts. It's focusing on betrayals. Now this could even be, and I know I'm going back to this, this could even be, you know, somebody else was supposed to be doing something and they completely dropped the ball. So now the scales are completely out of balance, all right? And you could just be, you know, rip roaring mad. You could just be so angry that you're looking at things and it's another betrayal, another hurt, another time you were let down. Don't focus on that. Focus on the healing, beautiful love that's around you because you have divinity guiding you. You have a sense of the divine leading you forward to that place that you want to be, to the abundance that you want within your life. And the five of cups really says, change your mind, change your life, change what you are looking at. And you are going to be moving forward in the strength, in the prosperity, and in the abundance that you want. With the strength card, this signifies a Leo. So this is a Leo time frame of July 22nd to August 22nd. That can be when you really start to see things kind of turning around. But I see this more Actually, I don't see Aquarius so much as a time frame, though for some of you, it might be January 20th to February 18th, which sounds like a really long way away to have the balance come in. But I see this more as, and it will come, yeah. I mean, this is January 20th and February 18th of 2020. So the balance will come in, you know, more, more by then kind of getting your soul's wish, getting what it is that you desire. But I see this more, and that's for a very certain few of you, I see this more as you getting your soul's wish and moving past kind of the injustice of it, the unfairness of the situation that you're in. And this right here with the Leo, here it is either a Leo that is causing you these problems. It can be for some of you in Aquarius, but this is very much saying here that you are charging forward and that you're going to let nothing stand in your way. There's a level of determination to you that is absolutely commendable, absolutely. And that is why getting caught up in negativity, getting caught up in a feeling as if you know, you're already behind and you'll never catch up, that, that's just going to be too overwhelming. That really is. So here you're going to find unlikely allies. That's what the strength card is all about. Well, at least that's how I look at it. It's unlikely allies. It's strength through kindness. It's knowing that you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. And it's really sitting there and speaking your truth and moving forward in that truth. Now, the negative side of the strength card is not caring about anybody else and just doing what it is that you need to do and not caring who you step on along the way. So there is a warning of that because, and why I bring that up is because there is just such a sense of frustration that I'm seeing here. So as you move forward and as you go after what it is that you want, know that to keep yourself moving in the right direction, in the place that you want to be, in this place that comes with kind of this divine feminine energy guiding you, do not sit there and think, well, you know what? They kind of, they screwed me over. Now I'm going to get back at them. Don't do that because it's not going to work out the way that you think it is. All right. So that's just a warning. It could be for a very specific few of you, but that's just a warning that spirit is saying right here because you feel battered and bruised. And that's how this starts off. It's just like, how am I going to get there? How am I going to get everything done? Everybody's kind of yelling and screaming and having their ideas and needing this and needing that. And there's too much, there's too much output going, going, and you can't take it all in. So there's too much coming at you. And this says here, you know, you already feel battered, you feel bruised. This says here, build that wall. Build that wall between you and the outside world. It's kind of like cocooning yourself. Let, the more you believe in yourself, the more you know yourself, the stronger and the thicker the 
the branches, well, the fence, think of this as the fence, the trees will grow, the fence will become thicker, and then you won't have these gaps here, and you won't have everybody else's opinions and, you know, and negativity hurting you so much. So this is kind of building that wall between you and the outside world. You do not need to lean on your passion, your desire. This is saying put that back into the ground and walk away. Walk away. Take a break. If you can take a break during the, the last half of May, that's going to be very beneficial for you. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to, you know, take time. Well, it can be taking a day off from work. It can very well be, you know, just sitting there and saying, you know what, I need to, I need to just call out one day or take time for myself. That can be the case. But this is also saying within your job, within when, when you're working on finances, when, you know, even working within your house, take a break and take time for yourself because you are putting a tremendous amount of pressure on yourself, Aries, during the last half of May. And it's not fair to you. It's really not because as you are moving forward, you have to have the confidence within yourself to say, you know what, time out, time out and be patient with the way that you are achieving your abundance and being guided by wisdom. It's your inner wisdom that is moving you forward. And listening to that inner wisdom means shutting out this negativity right here. This negativity right here that is saying, you know, that is making you feel as if you're never going to get ahead. You're never going to get to where it is that you want to be, making you feel in a place of almost lack. Then we have everything starts to change at the root. We have the star card. This is getting your soul's wish. This is really moving forward. Now, this could be actually a wish that you've had in January, January 20th to February 18th of this year, of 2019, 2019. So this is saying here that for some of you, this has been something that you're working towards and you're going to start to see that what you have been working towards, what you have been desiring starts to come to fruition. Now, it can be very, very small, like a grain of rice small, but it's a step in the right direction. It's a movement of forward instead of a movement of backwards. So what you're seeing here is things starting to change. And you're going to start to see that the wish that you have sent out into the universe is being heard. You're going to get signs. And I don't know exactly what signs they are going to be. They're going to be different for each and every one of you. But it's going to be a sign. And it's going to be a sign. No, I do know. It is going to be a sign that you are not alone, that you are being heard. And that as you are being heard, you are going to find that there is an unlikely ally that helps you move forward to that place that you want to be, that helps you move forward towards what it is that you desire. But here, it's looking towards the past. This is moving towards the future. Yeah, okay, that's it, exactly. So when I said that you were going to be seeing everything kind of turn around by, you, you are though, by January 20th of 2020, it is going to be things start to turn around and it is going to be that you start to move forward more with more gusto, all right? But you're going to see the wish that you had and what you kind of like the intentions that you have set for this year, you're going to see them start to play out. You're going to see things start to move forward. And then you have the high priestess. The high priestess is all about getting what you desire, but not exactly in the way that you had pictured it. Now, I know that's not how everybody reads the high priestess, but that's how I read the high priestess. It is a sense of embracing your inner wisdom. It is having the veil lifted from your eyes as you're going after what it is that you intend and what it is that you're focusing on. So this is why I'm saying here, be very, very careful with your thoughts because the more you say, I don't have enough money, I'm never going to have enough money, it's always going to be like this, the more it's going to keep that cycle. And I know that you are probably sitting there and saying, Dane, you know, I'm not going to sit there and lie to myself and say, oh, I have all the money in the world when I don't because that doesn't work. But there is a sense of lying to yourself to make a reality that you want. And that's what I think visualization is. It is saying that I will tell myself that I am prosperous, that I am abundant as I work my tush off to get to where it is that I want to be. And I move forward in that truth and in that prosperity. So the high priestess here for me is saying that you are going to get all the best things. You are going to get your soul's wish. Now your soul's wish is not the same. It is not the same as what you, you know, what you wish for in the waking hours. This is the base of what it is that you need. 
and you're going to see it start to come. You're also going to see that you're, the veil is lifted from your eyes and you are looking at people the way that they truly are, not the way that they want you to see them. And that can be very uncomfortable for a lot of you Aries. Well, it's very uncomfortable for anybody, but because this, is reading, this reading is about you, this can be very uncomfortable. This truth, this awakening that's coming, this sense of seeing what it is that you truly need, where it is that you truly want to be, so as you see, as you understand, as you comprehend, you will be moving forward, but it can be painful. So I want you to be aware of that. And you are going to see solutions to financial problems. You are going to see solutions to, you know, feeling stagnant within your career or angry within your career come to you, but you have to listen. Listening is going to be so important for you for the last half of May, listening to your soul, listening to yourself, listening to the way that you want to move forward. In your life but truly listening to your heart not you know the ego that says oh I want a better car or I want a bigger house or you know anything like that this is saying listen to your soul the high priestess drowns out the ego and moves towards the truth and as you do that the universe will open up to you you will not be defined by your limitations anymore you will start to see that the things that kept you grounded, and by grounded I mean kind of kept you from flying, from going after what it is that you want, not being logical and stable and, and understanding things, but the things that kept your wings clipped, that's what I'm saying, they're going to start to fall away because you're not going to be defining yourself by what you can't do anymore. You're going to start to change the words that you say to yourself, which is changing the the words of prosperity or the words of abundance that were spoken over you because they're going from a place of lack to a place of bounty and you are moving forward. You are being set free because you see here, this woman is made of snow and of air. She is not the traditional world person in the middle, which is a woman who is clad in a purple ribbon, holding up wands of success in a laurel wreath, which again, victory and success. This is the laurel wreath of the mountains. This is that U shape of the mountains saying you are successful. You are boundless. You are air. You are wind. You can go and you can achieve. So do not hold yourself back. Limitations, you know, negative expectations are things that you are shattering in May, in the last half of May. And that's why it's such a hard road for you because you are quite frankly, saying, this is not me. I don't want this. And you're seeing the truth of the matter. And seeing the truth of the matter is going to be hard. It is going to be hard. It's going to leave you going, well, who do I listen to? How do I move forward? You're going to sit there and decide to trust your mind and trust yourself. This is not saying, you know, don't ask for advice. Go to people who you know are good. Go to people that you feel vibrationally connected with, and they're going to help you move forward. Because with the Seven of Swords as your clarifying card, well, as one of your clarifying cards, with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, this is all about your mind. Your mind is so important. What you believe, what you think during the last half of May is going to be so important. You have to leave something behind. It is a negativity that is just too much. There's also something that is important to you, is important for you, and the angels are going to carry it. It's going to be too much for you to bear yourself. Then you have here on your back, you're carrying your knowledge, you're carrying your understanding. It's weighing you down because the world is opening up to you. You're moving forward in strength and you're taking your knowledge and you're being weighed down by it because it is a lot, but it is also going to be your greatest weapon to move you forward, to cut through doubts and fears, to go after what it is that you desire. Now it can be for some of you that this Aquarius, this air sign energy might be trying to bring you down. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I really see this more as you claiming your power, as you knowing your truth. Watch out for being sharp-tongued. That's what the Queen and King of Swords, all air signs have to watch out for that. But with this influence here, so watch out for being sharp-tongued. Watch out for kind of letting your temper get the best of you. But there is a sense here of cutting through that negativity to claim the power that you want to move forward in the truth. And then there's going to be a sense 
of wanting to act kind of right away, of saying, I know this, I know where it is that I'm going, I have this desire just to act, or you might have an air sign, especially an Aquarius in your life who wants to act, who's like, oh, you should do this. Step back a little bit, step back, really see, really understand things, and then move forward in the truth that you want, in the place that you want to be, because here, this, this is being a bit rash, is what I'm seeing right now. So defend yourself, defend what it is that you want, but don't do it out of rashness, Doing, do it out of cunning. And I know cunning is like a negative word, but I don't mean it negatively here. It's thinking things through. It's, it's seeing your plan and it's putting you first and seeing how you can get the rest of the world to kind of follow in alignment with where it is that you want to be, right? Because this is being set free. You, you have to keep your independence. You have to keep your, your sense of self, Aries, because if you lose that, you know, if you lose that sense of independence, that sense of self, you will be so absolutely frustrated. And if you feel like somebody is taking away your voice from you, especially during the last half of May, that is almost, that is unex inexcusable. It really is. It's almost unforgivable right now. So making sure that you move forward, staying in your truth, staying in your power, speaking into existence what it is that you want, that is going to be one of your greatest gifts. And that's going to be a way that you move forward. And I know this is a finance and career reading and that this was more about your mind and yourself, but this is the way that you will be attracting the prosperity that you want and dealing with the negativity that you are overcoming. Yes. The Ace of Swords is your clarifying card. You are getting a gift from God's source spirit of knowing your mind, of knowing what it is that you want, of standing in your truth, and you're taking it with the Queen of Swords with the Knight of Swords, you are absolutely taking it. This is your time to know your direction, to know where you're heading, and to know where it is that you want to be. Use it to your highest advantage. Because there is here a sense that you can stay small. In the last half of, of April, Aries, you can stay small. But this is something big that's coming. This is knowledge, this is understanding that is letting you see and taking away what has bound you, what has limited you, and saying, go for it. Go for what it is that you desire. Find your path. Embrace your truth. Know that unlikely allies are going to help lead you forward and go for what it is that you want. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, I hope this reading has re resonated with you. If you've made it all the way to the end, bravo. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. It has been an absolute pleasure. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. All right, I'll be reading for you all really soon. Bye.